What's up, Moto Buddies? Mike here from Taco Moto Co. and Baja Taco Tours. We're doing a little how-to video on replacing the primary output shaft seal. This is the this is the um, the primary drive. This is the sprocket seal here, the oil seal on a 19 through 23 Honda 450 RL. The X bike also is the same exact seal in the same exact way. So. We're just demonstrating the replacement procedure. This one is particularly tricky, and here's why. Because the OEM design seal has this catch lip. This little raised lip right here at the edge goes on the inside. So this is the outward face, this is the inward face. And so when this case is assembled, the seal is pressed in from the inside. No transmission is here, this is just an empty assembly, the case, and then at the factory, this is pressed in. That, that lip catches the inside, and that's the outer limit. And to replace that seal, if it leaks on you, it is kind of a booger. And so the process is somewhat brutal. Essentially what you do is you, with this seal, imagine this seal is pressed in place, you're gonna take a, uh, a really narrow chisel or a flat screwdriver, and at a very low angle, you just need to essentially taco in, flatten in, one of the sides of the seal. You need to overcome the lip. You've got to create a little bit of a gap. And again, this is just, it's absolute brutality and there is just no other way. If you have a better technique, please let us know in the comments what you do, besides splitting the cases, obviously, and replacing it on the inside. And so uh, by, by denting it in, essentially putting a big dent in it, once you have overcome about you know this much of the tension, then you can use a pick or a standard type seal remover, a hook type seal remover. Just get in there and pull it out, pop it out. That's that's how we got this out. And uh, that lip again, it's going to try to catch, and you just have to dent it in until you can get enough of that seal to release, and then yank the thing out. One of the things to make you aware of is there's little shrapnel pieces of rubber and debris and grit and whatnot that's going to get down in there. And uh, my recommendation when you do this procedure is to do it at a time when you need to change the oil. And um, how, how we're going to clean this out is we'll take a Q-tip with a little bit of grease on the end of it and we're going to swab it down into there and catch all these little boogers and things. That's what's on that, that front face of this race. Some of that stuff got into the bearing. There's a couple of ways you might be able to get that out. You could take a shop vac and just hover that thing in there and some of that stuff may lift out. The, the dry pieces that have fallen in there may suck out. With a Q-tip with a little bit of grease on it, you can swab those out. Some of it though is just down into that bearing race and we're gonna take a little bit of uh, probably WD-40 and some shop air and just blow across the surface of these rollers and the race in there and blow it into the crankcase and then take some shop air and blow all that out, clean all that out. And then because the oil is dirty, we'll just run it for a couple of minutes. Just let it idle. That stuff will circulate. It'll get suspended into the filter and then we can, that'll come out when we change the oil. As far as the replacement, we're, we're replacing it here with a seal that's an aftermarket seal and notice there is no lip. And there's two different versions of this that are commonly and readily available. There's a All Balls version and then a Prox Pro X version. They are both exactly the same. Uh, we bought both of these as an experiment to determine what was different about them. And as it happens, there is no difference. There's little individual bags inside of here. And the part numbers that are on the bags that came out of both of these boxes are exactly the same and exactly identical. So as they come down the assembly line, the same products go into the same little hard cases and they either get this this uh, decal or this one. And you can see that the retail is $14.35 versus $16.35. So if you want to save two bucks for gas and hotel rooms for your next ride, then get the Pro X version, fully identical. So this is a standard seal. This is what ordinary and customary you'd see this as a, as a, a primer shaft seal on lots of bikes. And when you press this in, you're gonna do it in the ordinary, customary way. Here is your center race. There is a little O-ring right here. It's not quite an O-ring, but that is your inner seal. So this thing fits inside of the race. And then that stands a little bit proud. 
and then that's what presses against this inner race down here and creates that inner oil seal. So that, that is preventing, this O-ring is preventing anything from coming on the inside of this race here. And as far as from the outside, that's the outer portion of this seal. Once you press that all in there, then any dirt or grime or water is prevented from going into the engine case from the outside contact there. Anything is prevented from going on the inside from this contact. And so you'd slide this thing over. Wouldn't be a terrible idea to put a little engine oil or a little grease on all of this so it's all pre-lubed. And when this is clean, also something to point out is you may get a few little metal shavings. That screwdriver or small chisel is gonna wander a bit on you and it may contact and put a couple little nicks in there and burrs. You could stuff a paper towel down in there and then with the sharp edge screwdriver, you could scrape that stuff off so that you've got a nice clean surface. You, you'd rather not have burrs catch the outside of the seal as it slides in. Put a little oil or grease on the outside of this. Be very generous with grease on the inside. There's a little groove right here. And so wheel bearing grease, uh, high pressure grease, you're gonna fill this cavity and then you're gonna slide this thing into itself there. Well, so let's kind of go through the little procedure here. You're gonna put this thing on there. Whether you do that now or later, it, it kind of doesn't matter. I would probably, my probably my preference would be to leave it out. You could slide that in later, but to go with the seal first, after this is clean, after you've deburred that, after you've got a little grease on here, then you're gonna take and install that. Now a socket, generally the, the, the uh, normal way to install these is just to have a socket. It's just, just about the same diameter, the, the inside diameter of the outside hard edge of this. There's a little piece of metal inside of here. That's what this lip is right there where my thumbnail is. That's, that's just a metal body of this and you're gonna, once that thing is set in there and you, you push it in about as far as you can, you can set your socket over that and then very carefully, very lightly, tap your socket as you go around. Don't just tap in the dead center because you're really inaccurate with tapping in the dead center. Some of those blow forces are really being angled to one side or the other and so just very lightly tap your, tap your small hammer and small little taps around the socket and you're driving this thing down. Only drive it down to the point where it's flush with the case. Do not drive it underneath the outside edge of the case. There is no stopper. You could potentially drive this thing all the way into the case until it's touching the inner race or the bearing itself. You don't wanna do that. So just stop when the outside edge of this is flush to the outside edge of the case, making sure that you get it nice and level. It's not a bad idea when you order these to order two of them. It's entirely possible that the first time you install this, you booger it up. And I've, I've seen that happen plenty of times. And so just to make sure that you get a really good install, again, maybe get two of these. You, you might need one in the future, and if you don't booger it up, now you've got a spare. They're, they're inexpensive, right? 14 bucks. And um, when it's installed, and it's installed properly and all the way, then it's just flush, flush to that case. And then last, you could come back in when you've got your grease, and there you can just take this, press it in, drop it in, and you're done. Put your sprocket back on, tighten everything back up, and away you go. Hope that helps answer some of the questions that you may have about replacing that seal. Let us know in the comments if you've got a cleaner, more sophisticated way of doing it than what we've shown. We'd love to hear from you. Like and subscribe. Go out and get some adventure.